with winter coming to a close and spring just around the corner, it's definitely tax season. Not everyone's favorite subject, but if it can help save you money, then we probably should talk about it. When it comes to taxes, we all wish we had an accountant at our fingertips. And with the H&R Block software, you pretty much do. This year, I follow my taxes with the H&R Block online software. And today we're gonna chat about my experiences with it, as well as some tips and tricks to help you maximize your return. What I love about the H&R Block online software is that there's a free version. So some of you probably don't need a lot of bells and whistles when it comes to filing your taxes. It can kind of be like data entry if it's not very complex. So you probably don't need someone else filing on your behalf. I always say that if there's something that I can do myself and I can save myself the extra cash, then I probably should go that route. Obviously, when things get a little bit more complicated, then you need to upgrade. But I love that there is a basic, no fuss, filing system that you can use. One of the things that I was worried about switching to H&R Block online software is that I was kind of concerned about my previous filings, but switching couldn't have been easier. It was really easy to carry everything forward. If you're self-employed like me, sometimes what you can claim and what you can't claim gets a little fuzzy. So what I really liked about the HR Block online software was that there was links for everything. So if there's anything that I really wasn't sure about, I could just click the link when I really wasn't sure. When I filed my taxes, I used the online software, but there's also a desktop version and an app version available. I didn't try those, but I'm definitely intrigued by both of them. As well, if all else fails, you can absolutely go to their brick and mortar locations. There are so many across the country that if you're just not sure, you want someone to check your work. I know the first time I filed my taxes, it was definitely a little bit confusing and I just really wanted to make sure that I did it right. So if that's you, then absolutely pop into one of their brick and mortar locations. So who doesn't want more money in their pockets, right? So let's chat about some ways to maximize your return. And remember when it comes to your taxes that the best thing you can do is make sure you do the prep work and hang on to those receipts because ultimately if you can't prove it then you can't claim it. If you're living in Canada you really want to consider investing in an RRSP. Not only are you saving for your retirement which is very important but you're also going to help with your tax deduction as well. So anytime you're putting that money aside, you're also helping your taxes. So it's kind of a win-win and definitely encourage when you're filing your taxes and you wanna maximize your return. And while you missed the deadline this year, which was March 1st, you can absolutely plan for next year. So you can be investing in an RSP monthly, you can do it bi-weekly, or you can do a lump sum. So you could really get started today planning for next year as well. When it comes to maximizing your tax return, you want to hang on to those medical receipts. So things that you can claim are prescriptions, vaccines, you can even claim things like massage appointments as long as you have a doctor referral or things like orthotics. Things that you can't claim under medical expenses, unfortunately, are gym memberships or you know yoga sessions. One of the great things about being self-employed is that you can actually claim a lot more expenses, especially if you're working from home or you pay for your own office or those kinds of things. You wanna make sure that you're hanging on to receipts for your power bills and your cell phone bills and just make sure that you're claiming it for the area that you're actually working in. You can't claim your living room or those sort of things. So make sure you have a designated space that is your workspace where you're producing a product or a service. If you're self-employed, you can also claim some travel expenses. So say you attended a conference or a convention or any of those things that help you learn more about your career or build your career or ensure success or those types of things. You can definitely claim those travel expenses, which is amazing. Additionally, if you're a blogger or photographer, for instance, and you bought a new camera or a new computer, you can actually claim up to 55% of that expense on your income taxes. So you can claim some this year and then you can carry the rest of it forward for 2018. So just make sure you hang on to those expenses and remember to claim them next year. One of the things that you can't claim is outfits or clothing. So unless your clothing is essential to your job, say for instance you're buying scrubs if you're a nurse um, or Likewise, if you're a hygienist or those types of things and you're not wearing them in your personal life, then you can claim it, but 
for the majority of us were not able to claim our clothing expenses. Bottom line, when it comes to your taxes, being organized is your best bet. It doesn't need to be a huge thing. It should be something that you're working on all year round. So you wanna make sure that you're documenting and you're keeping all of those receipts all year round so that when it comes to tax season, you're not overwhelmed, you're not worried about doing your taxes because you've been doing all of the work all year. So be prepared and be organized and don't be afraid to start a little bit early. There's quite a bit of a bracket from when you can start and when you have to file them. So starting early, it's not gonna hurt. Hopefully you found this video helpful and you can use some of these tips in filing your taxes and be sure to comment below if you have any questions or comments about the H&R Block software as well as filing your taxes.